Cardiovascular Index presents The cardiovascular system is an organ system that transports nutrients, gases, and blood cells to and from tissues in the body to help maintain energy metabolism and other cell functions. The heart is the central organ of the cardiovascular system. Optimal heart function depends on the delivery of oxygen and nutrients required for energy metabolism in heart cells. Healthy heart cells are able to adapt to available resources and obtain energy through the oxidation of glucose, fatty acids, lactate, and ketone bodies. In each cell, there are several small power plants, mitochondria, that have a central role in the generation of energy. Their main function is to synthesize the organism's universal energy carrier, ATP, by oxidating glucose and fatty acids. Glucose metabolism is a rapid and effective way to obtain energy. Anaerobic oxidation of glucose primarily takes place in the cell cystosol, where glucose is broken down into pyruvates. During this process, two molecules of ATP are generated. Pyruvate then is anaerobically metabolized in the mitochondria, where significant amounts of ATP molecules are gained through oxidative phosphorylation. In cells, only mitochondria can efficiently oxidize fatty acids for ATP synthesis. In order to be absorbed into the mitochondria, fatty acids are activated by coenzyme A and then bonded to carnitine. After entering the mitochondria, fatty acids are broken down and acetate is generated and oxidized like glucose metabolites to produce ATP. Compared to glucose metabolism, more oxygen is required for fatty acid metabolism. It is a slower process and could not be performed without oxygen. Unfortunately, blood flow can frequently be limited by atherosclerosis or the narrowing of blood vessels, as well as a reduction in the intensity of blood circulation. As a result, tissues do not receive oxygen and substrate to ensure optimal energy metabolism, and the condition called ischemia occurs. Heart ischemia is quickly apparent and most often manifests as chest pain. Brain ischemia presents as headache, dizziness, or transient weakness. By contrast, ischemia of the skeletal musculature most often manifests as a spastic pain in the calf muscles during walking. In conditions of increased physical activity or insufficient oxygen, the heart's need for oxygen is partially compensated by glucose oxidation. Disorders of glucose metabolism and diabetes can cause damage just as serious as ischemia. Such diseases as ischemic cardiomyopathy, heart failure, hypertrophy, and dilated cardiomyopathy correlate highly with disorders of energy metabolism in the heart. Frequently, these disorders are associated with a pathological accumulation of fatty acids in the mitochondria. Fatty acids inhibit mitochondrial function and sufficient ATP synthesis, not only from fatty acids, but also from glucose. And as a result, cells are not supplied by the necessary amount of energy. Accumulation of fatty acids can cause damage to both mitochondria and heart cells. As a result, fatty acid overload induces functional disorders of the heart. One pharmacological solution to improve energy metabolism is to use an original Grindex product, Mildronate, a PFOX inhibitor which partially inhibits the oxidation of fatty acids. It provides protection to different cells of the body and their energy supply during ischemia and increased physical activity. Mildronate works through the partial decrease of carnitine in the cell. This produces a decrease in the oxidation rate of fatty acids. Subsequently, harmful byproducts from the degradation of fatty acids are reduced in the mitochondria. As a metabolism corrector, mildrenate switches energy metabolism to an alternate source of energy from glucose, allowing the cell to utilize less oxygen and improve energy production under ischemic conditions. In addition, it reduces damage to cell walls and renews ATP flow from mitochondria to the cystosol. The additional energy allows cells to maintain normal levels of function. Long-term pharmacologically decreased availability of L-carnitine induces adaptive effects by causing changes in fatty acid and glucose metabolism-related gene expression, which are beneficial in the treatment of heart disease and diabetes. As well, mildrenate stimulates the production of nitrogen oxide in the endothelium of blood vessels, which normalizes blood vessel tension and increases blood flow to tissues and organs. Mildrenate is used as a combined therapy in the following cases. 
cardiovascular diseases, stable load angina pectoris, chronic heart failure, cardiomyopathy, functional cardiovascular disorders, acute and chronic ischemic disorders of brain blood circulation, reduced capacity to work, physical and psycho-emotional overload. In patients with coronary heart disease, Mildernate increases patient resistance to physical and emotional stress, decreases the pain-induced absorption of nitroglycerin, improves systolic function of the mitocardium, reduces peripheral resistance of the arteries, and significantly improves the quality of the patient's life. Mildernate is available as injections and as capsules. Optimal therapeutic dose, 500 milligrams, two times a day. Mildernate for heart and blood vessels.